Yeah, so greetings, my people. Greetings, man. Well, the subject is a subject today I'm getting ready to talk about. Perhaps most people may not want to hear it. Most people may not want to, to really vibes with what I'm saying. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of criticism, feedback, negative. Topic. Today, I wanted to address the word nigger today. I wanted to address the African-American young brothers that's living here in America. And I want you guys to listen very carefully because this is not to condemn, this is not to judge, but this is to encourage, you know? There's a serious problem in America, you know, with our black young brothers, brothers right now. The gun violence is getting out of hand, you know? And somehow we have come to a place right now that we cannot even talk to one another no more, you know? We resort in shooting and and war and violence and crimes and then we blame it on the system and we blame it on the white man and we never take responsibility for our own actions you know the gun violence has become like a trend where the man them don't have no morals no more you know they don't have no discipline they don't have no love they don't have their cold hearted brothers you know but one of the things that I noticed being here in America for many years now is the thing is this the word nigger is a negative word and when you call your brother nigger if you notice that the youth them on social media who use that word like for example like 6ix9ine Takashi and Soldier Boy and, and some other artists and hip-hop artists they start to get real rageful and real hateful with the word and start to get angry. My nigga this, this, nigga that, that, mother effort this, that, that. Because what it is, the word is, it's curse. If you go back to the days of our ancestors, our ancestors was brutalized. Our ancestors was raped. Our ancestors was hanged, lynched, taken from Africa to come work the cotton plantations. And this is the word that they use to keep them in slavery. But yet still, we, we young brothers out here, we use it every day and calling each other the same slave name that the slave master call we ancestors. That word is a curse. And this is why that word has brought so many death and so many killing and so many violence. Some may say, ah oh, man, this is our culture, whatever, nah, this is the devil lying to you. You think about it like this, right? Tupac Shakur. And many other artists who, yeah, he was a poetic man, you know, he had a lot to say, and I, I'm not against Tupac. I mean, he was a very powerful rapper, you know. But if you notice, he's not here around right now, you know what I mean? It's, it, 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 it ended in gun, in gun violence. Because your word will manifest. You have to be more smarter than that. You have to learn and watch from, from, from history. There is never a good ending. Rapping about niggas and gun violence. There is never a good ending. Because whatever you put out there is going to reciprocate and come back to you. You know? Martin Luther King, Malcolm X and a whole heap of civil rights leaders fought for our freedom. So we won't have to be enslaved. They lose their life over that, that same very word nigger. But we are here calling each other nigger and we have, we have no decency, no morals, no respect for one another. We don't have respect. The young, when I say we, not me, but the, the young, some of the young American young youths our black American brothers don't have no respect, no morals. They walk around with their pants all the way down on their asses and they don't even know the origins of where this stuff started. They think it's cool. If we don't respect ourselves, what makes you think the system is going to ever respect us? And I'm going to say it again. If we don't respect ourselves as black young brothers in America, what makes you believe that the system will ever respect us? They will never respect you because we carry ourselves in a way with an attitude 
We carry ourselves in a way that we're always ready to fight one another. We're always looking down on one another. We're always speaking negative things on the internet against one another. We're always fueling with one another. We're always fighting with one another. You know? So what make you believe the system is ever going to respect us? They're going to treat us the way we treat each other. So in my closing, my brethren and sister, where we from? We're from the Caribbean island. Now we don't call each other nigger where we from. We call each other king. Wagwan king. Wagwan my brethren. Yes, my brother. See the difference? It's a different energy. A different vibes. Vibration. So I tell in the youths them right now, the young American youths them. Stop flashing with all your guns. Murder weapon. There's nothing nice about flashing guns and murder weapon and has this old devilish look on your face like you're ready to kill people like it's fun. But when it comes to your life, you run trying to save your life. So why don't you look at it this way? It's easy for you to pull a trigger. It takes but a second. But you may have to do 30, 40 years for that when you could simply just walk away from the drama. But it's easy for you to pull that gun and just pop somebody and now you're facing life in the penitentiary or you're going in for murder, death penalty. It's harder to walk away from the situation, but in the end of the day, it's gonna save you a lot of hardship. Peace, my brother. One love to you. Learn to call each other my brethren and my sister in king. Respect. Jalove.